but uh, yeah, they can just can do a lot to mend those wounds. Kurt Busch all over the back bumper of Marcus Ambrose as he has never won on the road course, but Kurt having a great run today. It does look like that left rear tire on Ambrose car is inside. Oh, like, yeah, definitely he's got some kind of problem now. Well, he's got the inside track heading down into turn one, but boy, be careful. Marcus breaks late and holds on to the position for now. Here comes Kurt. They go down and he finally clears him. And if he holds on to second, this will be his best road course finish ever. Prior to that was third back at Infineon in 2005. And he's pulling away from Marcus now. Yeah, Ambrose definitely has a problem. And I look to me like maybe that left rear Down through the bus stop. Flag has already been out. We are winding this race down. Does Marcus have anything to get back to second? Because nobody is challenging this man, Juan Pablo Montoya. His last win, 113 starts ago at Infineon in June of 2007. Down through the final corner for the final time. Sorry about last week again. Good job. Way to go there, big boy. Good job. is going to get around him. You see McMurray, Stewart, Kyle have come across. Now Burton and Gordon rounds out the top 10 and Harvick slips back to 11th. Further back, it's still going to the wire. Newman, Kenseth, Hornish, and Truex in the top 15. Then Paul Menard, Casey Kane, and look at this, even further back, it is Brad Keselowski taking over the 20th spot over Patrick Carpentier with Pappas, Rudiman, Biffle, and Reagan rounding out the top 25 and Dale Earnhardt Jr., despite starting a very distant 40 today, comes home in 26. But there's your winner, Juan Pablo Montoya, with his second win in NASCAR Sprint Cup competition. Right there. Juan, you drove the race of your career, buddy. That was tremendous. Zero mistakes. Well, you can see that Juan is savoring the moment. And we will savor it with him in Victory Lane when we come back. Hawkins Glen, where Juan Pablo Montoya has picked up his second career win and the first as a crew chief in Sprint Cup action for Brian Patty. And coming up right after this, for Sports Center, we'll have Carl Edwards in the pit studio. Winner interviews and an oh so close no hitter today in baseball. Juan still making his way around this track. And uh, let's uh, talk to a probably an emotional Brian Patty, Mike. An incredibly popular win for Brian Patty as he walks through this garage. He's getting hugs from everyone. The champion, Jimmy Johnson, even stopped his car to congratulate you. What does this win mean? Uh, it's, uh, it's huge. It's, it's, uh, it's big for our sponsor and target. Uh, first time in Victory Lane. Uh, I still want to win on an oval, you know, to prove this point. But uh, we've been fast every week. We had... Uh, yeah, you know, the brickyard two weeks ago was my fault, and hopefully this uh, makes up a little bit. This team has faced some challenges over the last couple of weeks. What does this win do to mend some fences? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, trophies, trophies mean a lot. And, uh, you know, I, the, my truck and my uh, Bush victories I both had here, so it's pretty neat to have the triple in the, at the same racetrack, which is my favorite. Uh, it means a lot. It's, it's pretty cool. Quite the emotional win for Brian Patty, Dave. Of course, Mark. And there he is, climbing out, down in victory lane. One, 113 races since Juan Pablo Montoya's first ever win in the Sprint Cup Series. Juan, it's been a tough year for you and this team. It's been an emotional couple of weeks for you guys. Put in perspective what being back here in victory lane is like. It is great. You know, we, we lost a lot of them and gave away a lot of them, and we... And it gets frustrating, and everybody gets fighting and everything, but, you know, this target team does an amazing job. You know, I want to thank Screen for supporting this series, an amazing series. I love it, and oh, it's about time to get another one. <laughs> what is this like? You know your crew chief. This is his first Sprint Cup win as a crew chief in the Cup Series. What does this do for your relationship, proving that you guys can win together? Uh, we have a great relationship. We really understand each other. 
It's difficult because we're very competitive and we both want to win and yesterday we had a really good talk with Chip and all the boys and, and now we're now this. It's awesome. Congratulations Juan Pablo Montoya back in victory lane. Marty.